、アイファイオでの新製品発表会ですというより、まああの、むしろ特典があの来る機会ってなかなかないので、あのもうとにかくそのアイファイオーディオの、えー、もうちょっと過激なまでのハイスペックな d s d のこととかあのそういうことをですね直接聞いていただく機会っていうのはやっぱりなかなかないと思うんで、えー、むしろあのまあ誰かあの今もちょっとおあの彼らと打ち合わせしてたんですけど説明短めあの多分ご存知のことでたくさんあると思うんですけど説明短めであとですねあの皆さんとのディスカッションをむしろ多めあの、えー、今日はですねあの関係の通訳で、あのそうよくあの非常にスペシャリストの方もいらっしゃってますので、あの日本語でどんどん聞いていただいて構いませんので、えー、もうどんどん突っ込んでいただいて、あの一時がフルに使ってたあのまああの先端の話をあのいろいろ聞いていただけると思います。ではあのナイファオーディオの、えー、実践発表会などの、えー、まあカンファレンスを開催させていただきます。えっ、ー、とじゃあ最初にあのマーケティングマネージャーのえっ、ー、とビーセントルールさんからえっ、ー、とまあナイファオーディオのえっ、ー、とこれもの、えー、新製品Hi, good afternoon, everyone, and、uh, thank you very much for coming today.、Uh, my name is Vincent, and this is Torsten. <laughs> And、uh, today we'd like to make a short presentation on、uh, who we are, what we, where, where, where we are coming from, and where we are going to with future products. And then at the end of it, then、um, there's a Q&A session. So any questions you would like to ask of、uh, iFi with regards to audio、uh, information, then feel free to ask. あのまあ、本日はあの我々の会社がちょっとどういう会社かというご紹介とそれからまあ今出ている商品のご、えー、説明それから新しいものそれから、えーまあ、今後どういうふうに進んでいくかその辺のお話をさせていただきたいと思っております。Yeah. Um, some of you may or may not know,、um, but we're from England and our headquarters is actually almost in the middle of the country, very, very close to Manchester. Which... People, if they follow the football, they know where we are, very close to Manchester and Liverpool. So if you ever come to England, you can always give us a call. Um, the background of i f i Audio is that,、um, which is a little bit unusual compared to a lot of audio, other audio companies, is that we have a high end、um, parent company called AMR. So we, we do a lot of expensive audio equipment、um, at the high end market, and a lot of the technology from there comes down to benefit i f i AMR という会社で、えー、いろいろ研究されて、えー、そこで培った技術など、まあ、ハイエンドなものが、えー、どんどん降りてきてそれを我々のヘッドホン技術に入れ込んでおります。Um, the second point there is that、um, for us, we really don't care about if something is old or something is new or something is not in fashion or if it's in fashion. To us, when we do our listening tests, If it sounds the best to us, then we use it. であとまあ我々でこだわっているところとしては、えー、特にトレンドがどうとか、えー、流れがどうとかそういうことにこだわることなく、まあ、例えば古いものでいま、えー、だに良い技術もありますので古いもの、えー、新しいもの全て含めてとにかく聞いて一番音が良いものという基準で選んでおります。To us, it's really important that we listen. We have hundreds of thousands of US dollars worth of test equipment. I use that. It cannot tell me if something will sound good. It can tell me if it will measure good. The proof of the machine is in the listening. If it does not sound good, it does not matter if it measures 0.0000000% of HE or anything. We must listen. 
まあ、とにかく音を聞くということを常に一番考えている会社だと思いますあの何千万もするいろんな機器を持っておりますけれどもそれで例えばいい数値が出たとしても、えー、それよりもやはり音としていいのかどうかそこを大,大切に進めていきたいと常に思っています So, like for example, our recently new, newly launched product called the Retro,、um, when you look inside, it has valves, which is clearly from 50, 60 years ago, but then also it handles DSD 512. So, that's a great example of something that's really old that we think sounds really good, but using really latest technology DSD 512 that you can enjoy the high quality of the recording. まあ、それの一例としてあの皆さんご存知かと思いますがレトロという製品を最近出しましたがそちらのレトロの中を覗いていただくと実際のバルブが見えるんですがそれはまあ昔からある技術でありましてそれプラス例えば DSD の512もハンドリングできるとそういうまあ新旧いろんな技術を入れ込んでいろんな形で音楽を楽しんでいただけるようにというふうにいつも考えています。Yeah. So for example... Um, we have here the ProCam、uh, final version that you will see that is the point three on here. We've got the new flagship line. This is going to be the top of the line of, for iFi now. And again, this is another example where you've got valves, you've got solid state, you've got really advanced equipment,、uh, parts, and some really classic parts inside. So something for you to have a look and touch and feel. And this one is all the valve. Is a GE, yeah, don't take it home. <laughs> <laughs> so, for example, this one has a GE5670, that is an NOS2 GE5670 valve in there. But you know, for us, if that sounds the best, we put it in. And even though people say valves are not good or they're, they're not new things or they can't sound good, to us, we don't care. We don't listen to that. We just say, if it sounds that good, we have to have it in because it is the best for us. And if you want to have a listen, you can come to our suite. You can switch between transistors, cube on this, and you can hear for yourself. This to us is most important. Yeah. And obviously, the name of it, the Pro Line, is that we are starting to work with some、um, recording companies that have asked us to do specific products. And we're having one eye on that market and also one eye on the main market so people can benefit from both sides. まあ、こちらのプロオーディオラインですけれども名前があの表しているように実際のプロの、えー、録音技術の方と、えー、一緒に開発して、まあ、そちらの方面の方々および、まあ、一般の方々興味のある方であれば、えー、使っていただけるというようなラインに仕上がっています。Really the best of pro audio should be same as the best of hi-fi because each of you should give you the true sound that should let you hear the music as it is, no effects. That's the recording engineer's job, like Shimada san over there. Only what's recorded should be presented. And、uh, this quadrant graph here、um, shows、um, where we are with the different products. And,、uh, and it just shows that, for, so for example, at the top you have the most portable side, at the bottom it's the most desktop based stuff, and then on the left hand side you've got the most lifestyle, and on the, on the right hand side you have the most professional. So you can see that for us,、um, we do try to cater to as many customers with different tastes and different options and different flexibilities. You know, for us, good, the best sound doesn't have to be compromised. But for the people, they can choose, like a car, BMW, you can have a four wheel drive or you can have a two door convertible. It really is up to the customer to choose. でまあ、あのこちらの表で見ていただくと分かりやすいんですが、えー、上に行けば行くほどポータブルで下に行けばデスクトップで左側がライフスタイルであちら側がプロ仕様という形で分かれていますけれども、まあ、それぞれあのお好みによって、えー、製品を選んでいただけるように考えております。Um, and here, over the next few slides, we'll outline just a few of the newest and latest products
Um, three are in the audio uh, area, which is obviously why it's called audio one, and audio two, audio three. And then the other, the next three will be power based or USB technology based, one to three. Because not only do we try to make products that makes the best sound, we actually look at the whole chain. And along the chain, because USB fundamentally, even though it's the most common, everybody uses USB, it was never really designed for serious audio quality. And because we try to research down to every last grain of information, then we even try to improve the USB transmission line along the way, not just making the products, but the whole chain that transmits the signal. Vincent, we are not trying to succeed. <laughs> So for the first one is the micro IDC2, which has already been uh, you know, come out you know, for about a month or two. And the first issue that we've seen in the market is that there's not really a serious high-end DAC headphone amplifier that's that's in an affordable bracket, meaning less than $500. So this is what we try to do with the IDAC2, that this guy is less than 500, but people can put it in big systems costing tens of thousands of dollars, but can still play it and not uh, have to take a, you know, take a compromise on the sound quality. And the three features there is the true native DSD PCM, which Torsten will go on into a little bit later on at the end of this presentation. And the second feature is that you've got multiple filters for people to try different options because there's no such thing as the best sound. And the third thing is this guy runs Class A, and not only Class A, but it uses some very, very nice, very expensive audiophile components that people know about, like Elmer Silvic, V-shaped valve resistors, etc. で、こちらのまあ、あの、表の見方としては、あの、全部に共通しているのはこの左上の部分が今現在、え、市場に足りないものとして我々捉えています。例えばこれでしたら、え、今のところハイエンドのデスクトップ用で、ダック、え、ユ
And a later gentleman that one of you could ask him to remind me because I'm notably scatterbrained. I would actually also like to tell you something about how we implement tubes in IFI's equipment in about tube state. So please don't let me forget. Uh, obviously, the one that you just uh, have hanging around right now that you can also listen to in the top wing demonstration room is the ProCan, which is the first product in the Pro series, the top of the range. Uh, the three main features, I mean, there's a heck of a lot of features, but just the three most important ones that we'd like to bring out is the fact that you can have um, use of the two GE5670 tubes or switch to solid state. And so a customer can play whichever amplification session they want. The second one is that it's fully, fully balanced and it takes care of all the new, uh, uh, new trends in, in, in the connections. And the third one is it's a uh, fully adjustable 3D holographic and the X space. Again, which is a feature of all the headphone apps in iFi that we use an analog circuit to deal with these issues, not a digital circuit, which to us is the right way to do it. で、皆さんの手元を回ってる製品になりますけれども、え、プロアイキャンで、え、まあ、あの、レンズの中で一番フラッグシップなものと言います。で、え、こちらのま、ものすごくいろんな機能が入っていて、いろんなスペックが入っ
お使いであれば 0.01 とか 0.015 とかその辺の数値になりましてまあそのもうちょっと隣の線に行くと、えー、プロ仕様のもので大体今、まあえー、700ドルぐらいするものの数値となるそうです。We use an AP2 system to measure this. With an AP2 system, we need to use extreme measures, and we、uh, actually have a measurement sequence that runs almost two hours to actually be able to measure that low. で、あのこの数値を実際に測るにあたって、えー、まあ特殊な機械を作る使うんですけれども、その機器を使っても2時間かかるそうです。Just to as a little side story,、um, uh, the audio precision we found at Torsten Mulder's measurement, we found the channel imbalance in the audio precision tube that we were using, and we told audio precision there was a problem with their machine. They didn't believe us, and we said. You really do have a problem with the machine, and we can't measure with it properly. And it took their engineer to come out to see us, and we showed it them, and then they were like, "Wow!" Yeah, we sent it back twice for calibration. It came back, and I said, "No, it's still not working." Ah, this is the measurement that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Ah, this is the measurement that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio precision was the machine that we used to measure the audio precision. Audio Yeah, US, yeah, stereotypes. Yeah, yeah. That's when they have a review. At the end, there is a measurement section, and that is done by the editor called John Atkinson, and that is the exact same machine that he uses. So we don't just make measurements to improve people, uh, so impress people, but we actually use the exact same one that Stereofile uses, that is in an industry standard, and we get as close. You know, we try to replicate the same standard that they measure with. So when we say the specifications on the website, it is what Stereofile does. あのこちらの数値を出す,出すってみんな驚かせようと思ってやってるわけではなくてあのアメリカのステレオファイルステレオファイルシートという雑誌があるんですがそちらがスタンダードとして標準として使っているのがその、えー、オーディオプレスジュー市場記者の、えー、機器ということになるのでそれと全く同じものを使って我々の方でも、えー、きちんとした数値を出しているということになります。But what matters is how it sounds like. So you should try to get to talk in to the room, and you should actually try to listen this and this out. That will tell you a lot more than all we can do here. まあここにあのゼロが分数並んでるだけでもすごいことではあるんですけれども、まあ実際に音を聞いていただいて、えー、どれだけそれがいい音かっていうのを確認していただく方がよっぽど大事だと思いますので、後ほどぜひお部屋の方に来てください。Yeah. And obviously, for the second and the third points, the re clocking of the signal, the regeneration, and the rebalance, we can go to them in, a, in, a, in more later detail in the QA. But the last、uh, aspect is also the Ultra Speed 3, which is for us,、um, I mean, it does sound like marketing speak, but it is true that when, when we sell some、uh, product, we make this product to, to, to sell to the, to the public. Um, we do feel that it is our money. Or if it was our own money, would we spend it on this product or somebody else's? And we always, we always want to make sure that we give the customer the longest term, you know, the long term value for money. So that whilst right now not everything is USB 3 because it's USB 2, it's future proof, and that's really, really important. So even though it's not ready, you know, not everything is right now running USB 3, it just gives people that sense of. Uh, you know, value for money for performance and longevity as well. Not just sell, make it now, sell it, buy a new one next year or something. であのこちらのまあ3番目の3つ目のポイントで USB3 対応となっておりますけれども確かに今現在 USB2 で十分だったりまあそれほど USB3 が必要とされていないかもしれませんがまあ我々の考え方としては将来的にもできるだけ長くこの製品を使っていただきたいという思いからえもうできるだけあの手に入るものは利用して USB3 も、えー、将来的に見越して対応しているということになります。However, there is something you can already do with USB3, and this is because you can actually connect 
a USB 3 hard drive if you have one. Improve the power if you run a laptop or an external hard drive, like I do often. You can put, plug the hard drive in, improve the USB signal for the hard drive, improve the power for the hard drive, and you plug your DAC in, improve the power for the DAC, improve the power for the hard drive. So all that's left, we need to improve the power for the computer. And to also just neatly brings it on to the next product here, um, which is called the iPurifier 2, um, because obviously it's the second model of the iPurifier 1. And in the market, there isn't an active asynchronous USB filter. So what this guy does is you plug it into the port of any normal, any regular DAC, and it improves it uh, via three areas. Number one is the ANC that we discussed before, that is a very, very significant uh, noise reduction, which Torsten will update you because we just measured it and we found out that it's even better than what we thought it was going to be. And the second thing is that it reclocks, regenerates, and rebalances the USB signal, which is all three are important, not just one, but all three. And the third thing is that it does look nice because it's an aluminium case, but it also deals with EMI and RFI as well. で、先ほど申し上げたアクティブノイズ、え、カンセレーションが入っておりまして、あとそのリクロックリジェネレートそれからリバランスの人どれが欠けても駄目で、この3つが同時に入っているということが大事です。で、あとはそのま、アルミニ
MacBook Pro だったり、えー、そういう製品に対してはどれだけのノイズを出していいっていうあ,のあるいはカットしなきゃいけないっていうそういうレベル設定はあの規制はされていないそうで,でそういうあのできるだけノイズをカットしようとそういう努力は全くあの、まあ、大きい会社だからなのか分かりませんがあのしていないのでそれに対して、まあ、あの我々はこういう形で対処していきたいという考えです。And、uh, one of the things we did in our own products that u s e switch mode power supplies in order to actually get very good quality DC out of them, we developed this ANC system to deal with the noise. But that's our products only. With this, you can add our latest top technology to your Apple MacBook, to your Apple standard power brick, or anything else up to 24 volts. Routers, streamers, laptops. All the stuff that's down there as examples. ではあのこちらが一番下にありますけれども、ルーター、ストリーマー、ラップトップ、ADC、タックル、ミキサー、何に対しても使えるもので、えーまあ、ノイズをあのカットしたい方にはおすすめです。では、ここで、ストリーマーについてのお話をしていきたいと思います。ここで、ストリーマーについてのお話をしていきたいと思います。ここで、Hopefully, not too much detail on this, otherwise, we could be here to the next to the 2016 Headphone Festival. Well, not quite that long, thank you. そうしてにあの話をさせると永遠と話してしまうので、できるだけ短い形でお伝えしたいと思いますが。Something that I would like to talk about briefly. You get now in, in digital audio two fundamental systems. One system is called PCM pulse code modulation, and it uses many bits, 24 or even 32 bits, but it uses a relatively low sample rate, like 384 kHz. You also get a system that's called DSD commercially, but technically speaking, it's a single bit system, one bit only, but very fast. For example, At DSD 256, we are switching it in something in 11 megahertz. では皆さんあのご存知の通り、えー、システムとしては2つありまして、えー、1つは PMC でもう1つが、えー、DSD というふうになります。Now one of the issues is both PCM and DSD have some things they're doing very very well, but neither is perfect. Both also have areas where they're not doing well. 我々の考え方としては、PCM も DSD もどちらも完璧なシステムだとは思っていなくて、それぞれいいところはあるんですけれども、えー、まあ短所もあるというふうに思っています。Because the original CD standard PCM system has its big problems and small signals, there are only small details in the music. We have added bits and we're doing more and more because the sampling speed is relatively slow, we have introduced faster sampling rates. So you get something like DXD2 sampling at 384 kHz and 24 bit. That is much better, but it still isn't perfect. Now, equally with DSD, even DSD256 at 11 MHz, we have problems. DSD is never very good handling very large changes of sounds. So if you've got an orchestra going from PPP to FFF in an instant, from quiet to full on, DSD is not good handling that. DSD is very good at handling these small things. あのいきなり上がるようなものは大変 DSD の苦手とするところです。Now, in the late 90s, people working at the design center in Japan, Fabio Brown, where all the audio DACs were designed for Fabio Brown, already developed a new technology that was addressing this. Around this time, Fabio Brown was bought out by Texas Instruments, who finished the development of those parts but later shut everything down. And very modern. TI per Brown parts are not any longer based on this technology. They are using now cheaper technologies because that technology was still relatively expensive. Yeah, no, uh, 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 uh,
に対処しようとして、えー、作られていたあのチップがダックがありましてでそのダックを作っているところでちょうどテキサスインストラメンツに、まあ、買収されて、えー、最終的に、えーまあ、そのプロジェクトは、えー、締められてしまったんですけれども。And what has been done there is to take the top six bit where all the loud bits are in music and use a multi bit converter for them, PCM. And anything below this, anything small, is handled via 256 speed single bit, or you might say ESD256. So each technology operates where it does best and is kept out of the area where it does worst. So this is literally what's on the heart of every IFI DAC. This chipset is this technology, and this is why we get very, very good sound from classic PCM. When you play DSD, the chip switches into a different mode and is pure DSD. It does not convert to anything else. So you get the best of DSD, you get the best of PCM, without changing the format, without destroying the qualities it has. で、あの、ま、元々の、え、信号のクオリティを、え、壊すことなく、え、両方のいいところを使って、え、解消、あの、解消したのをこのチップなので、我々が使ってるのはこのチップなんですけれども、これを使うことによって、え、両方の問題を
uh, someone who's very skeptical of all those USB cables and USB tweets recently tried out the IP profile too with his IDSD micro. And he, he says, if I, if, they, if I hadn't won this, because he won it in one of the competitions, if I hadn't won this, I would have to go now and buy it. No, it is still officially in production. Even the last uh, round of uh, cancelled products that TI cancelled, a lot of older products from National Semiconductor and their own, it is still in production. If it goes out of production, we are a good customer of theirs now. They will let us know early, and if we have to, we do a lifetime buy, we buy 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> プロアイキャンディーについてのご質問ですが、コンデンサーヘッドホンの使い用ですが、アダプターが前発表されてたと思うんですけど、今日の発表会で触れられていませんでしたが、どうなっていますか? And this is still being developed. Uh, this one only drives dynamic headphones. We are developing a second box that you can add to it, which contains some step-up transformers with uh, permaloid laminations, uh, possibly even silver wire. We are, we are still working on this. This is still going to be three to six months down the road. It also has a very unique way of biasing the electrostatic headphone. And when this is ready, it will ship, and there is already if you look in the back of the uh, ICAM Pro, where is it? Just on the back, sir. Ah. Uh, could I have this for a moment? あの、実際に、これ今現在は、え、使えないです。ただ、今開発中な、ま、これにタス箱を作っているんですけれども、それでは、あの、アップステープトランスフォーマーを入れたりとか。When this ships, it's going to be a box like this that you can attach uh, either an iFi I can do via this connector here. Yes, standard HDMI cable, or all you find HDMI cable if you like, or you can use a speaker amplifier, any speaker amplifier to drive this. And uh, as I said, we will not release it until we are happy that it outperforms anything else out there together with this. If it, doesn't, if it isn't better than the best stacks and Kavali uh, U, uh, we will not release it. But we are confident we can get something out that's very, very good. And uh, we will support Stux standard, Stux Pro. Stux, we, will also, Stux Pro. Yeah, we will also support uh, Sennheiser Orpheus and Sennheiser uh, HE 600, I think it was. And you will also be able to use COS electrostatic. So it will suit all electrostatic headphones on your uh, jack and tool. So it will suit all the electrostatic headphones. And uh, you can tell we have a fair few of them to play with uh, for development. So it'll be ready soon. Sorry, it's my fault. Uh, and the transformer designer's fault. <laughs>
んご自身は PCM と DSD どちらの方が音が好きなんでしょうかと思いましたね。I have to say I've never been able to find tracks that would really allow you to do a true comparison. Okay? You would have to have something where you have, for example, the Rimbo or your ADC and something like uh, an iFi DSD DAC to evaluate DSD true. And then you would have to be in the same recording session, the same recording level and everything, with something like a Pacific Microsonic Model 2 to record in PCM, true PCM. And then you can compare. All I can say is really good recordings in DSD done with a Grim Audio Converter, really good recordings done on uh, Horus from Merchant Technologies. They're all very good. I don't mind listening to them all day long. Really good recordings done on Pacific Microsonic Model 2 in 24 bit, 176 kilohertz. They're great. I have none that I can actually directly compare. Just give me good recordings in any of your forms that I would like. ま、残念ながらその基地としたあの、存在しないということで、あの、ま、それぞれの、え、基地としたレコーディングを行ったものをそのまま聞くにはいいんですけれども、それをあの、両方企画して、あの、聞けるようなものがないので、え、ま、比
に絞ってはいないんですけれども、まあ、個人的によく聞くのはあのオランダの、えー、レコーディングでドラムキットのみのレコーディングがあってでそれをよく聞いたりあとはトーリー・エイモスだとかあとはまあオルガン・シンフォニーだとかその辺を聞いて最近はあの使ってますけれども、まあ、それもあの今,今はたまたまそれでやってますけれどもまた時間とともに変わっていく。And I must admit that sometimes even listen to anime music. A favorite of mine is Yoko Kano and the Seatbelts, the scene from Cowboy Bebop. I don't know. The scene from Cowboy Bebop.
あの私の答えとしては一つ目は、えー、チューブを使ったからといって必ずしも歪むわけではなくて二番目としては歪んだとしてもその音が好きなんだと<笑> So uh, in a while in the AMR I generally、uh, implement tubes where we don't necessarily try to minimize measure distortion for IFI specifically we set the goal If you have a new product, it has to be able to measure as good as a solid state product. And in the golden years of hi fi, companies like Marantz or later l u x m a n in Japan they have shown that, that you can have tube hi fi products that don't give up any measured performance to a solid state one, but they still sound much better. でまあ、私の中でのチューブの概念としてはソリッドステートと同じような、えーまあ、精密さが必要だとで例えば日本の、えー、ラックスマンだとかマランツなどが優秀なあのチューブの製品を出していらっしゃいますけれども、えー、それで、えー、全くその数,値を数値が落ちることなく、えー、素晴らしい製品に出来上がっていいると思います。So this here, the ICAN Pro, for example. I've measured on the AP2, it's got a switch you can either select a solid state input device, this is actually a JFET, or you can select a tube. They both measure 0.0005% THD. こちらの製品ですけれども、えー、スイッチ一つで、えー、チューブとそれからソリッドステートと好きな方を選んでいただきます。でまあ、0.0004 まで、えーノイズフロアが下がっておりますので。そして、ノイズフロアが下がっておりますので。そして、ノイズフロアが下がっておりますので。そして、ノイズフロアが下がっておりますので。If you implement it perfectly, that's 133 dB. It is very, very close to the absolute limits anybody can do. <laughs> And we do it with tubes. <laughs> <laughs> あとでスペックをご覧になっていただけると分かると思いますけれども、まあ、それだけのことをチューブを使ってやってるんだという軸が強いということだけお伝えしたいと思います。はいえー、あとでよろしいでしょうか。はいえー、とステレオ5を,を聞かせていただきまして、えー、非常にあのデジタルの部分とそれから真空管、いろいろディスクリートアナログの部分とそれからレコードプレーヤーを接続できるしかも、えー、DSP も直接聴けるということで非常にあの戦略的であの魅力的な商品だと思いましたであの感想としては、えー、アナログの LP とか SP とかしか聴かない、えーかなり年配の方にもデジタルの良さを味わってもらえるそれからヘッドホンとか DSD を聴いているヘッドホンユーザーの人にもアナログの魅力スピーカーで聴く魅力っていうのを伝えられる非常に戦略的であの楽しい素晴らしい商品だと思うんですが、えっと、今後も、えー、iFi としてそのカテゴリーの製品を、えー、作っていくというビジョンはありますでしょうかこれからも
we do have some very, very interesting stuff. If it will see the light of the day, we don't know, but we want to do it. We need to see that.
no, I mean, thank you very much for coming and, and uh, you know, and spending so much time to have a listen to what we like to have, you know, like to say and what we'd like to share with you. Um, I would say though, the, the, the you know, the, the, the last comment is that um, uh, for the Japan market, we really do feel a very close connection with all uh, all the people in the industry and you know, from the press to all the customers, and uh, it's you know, it's very, it is very nice. Um, to get the feedback from people and uh, what we would like to say is that a lot of companies try to just design products for you know by themselves internally but you would actually be surprised to find how much external feedback we rely on so um, all you know always please you know by, by any, any, any any way possible email phone contacting you know, Rio San whatever do let us know what you like or what you don't like. Because for us, again, going back to the same thing, when you spend your money on our products, you know, we do feel that it's our own money as well. So if we do want people to, to feel that had a little bit of input that made that just that extra little bit of difference. Well, we actually have a company rule. If we wouldn't be happy to buy our own product, it's not being made. Well, uh, ま、日本の方々あるいは直接イメールでも構いませんしお知らせしていただければできるだけ今後のあの改善に向けてあのそれを使っていきたいと思いますしま我々の自分のお財布の中からお金を出してそれを買いたいと本当に思わないものは特に世の中